And we're looking at a box of 30 out 6 goodness. 30 out 6 was adopted by the United States military in 1906. That effectively makes it a 112 year old cartridge. So, why would we still be interested in it? It's interesting because usually when a new cartridge hits the market and the manufacturer is trying to show off its ballistic capabilities it often shows it in comparison to the 30 alt 6 so 112 years later this is still the gold standard these particular bullets are my hand loads they are 165 grain bullet loaded with IMR 4350 they're loaded on the hot side they give a measured 3,100 feet a second off the chronograph. That's out of my 24 inch barrel. The 30 alt 6 has a couple of things going for it. Number one, it's proven. It fought two world wars. Japanese and Germans learned to fear it. military loadings were 150 grain bullets usually shot in the M1 Garand and the 03 Springfield whereas the 173 grain bullets were used in the machine guns and were often used in the 1903 A4 sniper rifle heavier bullet giving better long-range performance also we have to understand at this time that we were talking about full metal jacket bullets these as we have loaded here are not full metal jacket they are 165 grain ballistic tips this is considered about the middle of the road for a big game bullet. Typical weights for the 30 alt 6 are 150 grain to 180 grain. However, you can load as light as 110 grain bullets for varmints, for coyotes and critters. You can load up to a 220 grain bullet. as circumstances dictate. Usually when the 30 alt 6 is compared to whatever wonder cartridge a manufacturer is bringing out it shows it with the bullet weight that is going to make the new cartridge look the most favorable and sell you the sizzle on the stake and the sex appeal of the new cartridge over the old reliable one. 30 alt 6 also is an excellent cartridge for using cast bullets for those who want a cartridge where they can shoot their high powered rifle in large quantities you can shoot cast bullets in my case I think I load them about 2400 feet a second with a 170 grain bullet and uh, shoots entirely satisfactorily so it's still one of my favorite cartridges it covers a wide variety of uses I typically use 165 grain boat tail bullets as that's what my rifle likes some Remington rifles favor the flat base bullets. Uh, particularly the 700s. But 
it's a very versatile cartridge. You can load it with a wide variety of powders. Anything as fast as 3031 for your lighter bullets and your jack or your cast bullets. 4895 was the military standard. 4350 gives excellent performance, particularly with the 165 grain bullets. So 112 years after its inception, 30 alt six is still doing its job. It's just doing it quietly now. A lot of people are looking for something to replace it. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Still keeps going along in its own way. Keeps performing. And you get your really knowledgeable rifle guys and ask them what cartridge they're going to use as a day in day out round something that they can use for anything from coyotes and such critters on up to pretty good sized bear I can guarantee you the guys that actually know what they're talking about and who've been there and done that are going to favor the 30 alt 6 in North America Later on, 